Well, hey there, church media friends. I wanted to give you a quick tip of how we've been adding lower thirds to our church online worship sessions. Uh, We have decided to uh, use only pre-recorded services and sections from other services and just adding those to our um, pre-recorded worship services that we're using for church online. And maybe you have been faced with the same thing, adding lower thirds to music videos that you're either recording um, or previously recorded. This is the easiest way that i found to do that. We take our video that's finalized uh, for each song, we bring it into ProPresenter, and we record the output of the lower thirds being um, ran on top of that video. And then uh, we take those finalized videos and add them to the finished uh, full church service. And we use Adobe Premiere, but you could use whatever you wish. Um, So let me show you how to do that. Um, Basically, once you have everything formatted in ProPresenter, you're going to go to Actions, Record Output. Then you're going to run the song like you want it recorded. You're going to tell it where you want to save the file. I like to use H.264 just to save on file size. You're going to want to match your size and your frames per second to whatever those are going to be in your final church online full video so that way you don't run into any audio drift or anything like that. And once you have everything ready to record, you just click the record button and you run your song as you wish. And then you just run the lyrics on top of it. And here are a couple of pointers for when you're setting this up. You can bring in your lyrics from song select and then edit them to be lower thirds. I like to bring them all in, put them in exact order, and then go into edit the first slide. Format this how you want your lower thirds to look. We're using Bebus New. Um, it's an all caps font, so that way we don't have to worry about capitalizations. And then you're going to make that a template that you can apply to the rest of the slides. So we would go to template, save selected slides as template group. And then you're going to apply that template to your full document of lyrics, and it will change all of them to be lower thirds. Okay. Bring your video file um, from your Finder or Explorer into the first area of your song document. You're going to want to right click and go into Media Properties um, because we need to change this from a foreground to a background. So um, we want to change this to stop if it's set to loop on accident and so that way it doesn't start back over at the end and change the media cue behavior to background so that way we can it'll keep playing as we add lyrics to the video so then as you play through your uh, song just run the lyrics as you normally would for when you want them to appear on screen and as long as you're recording um, it will record everything that it sees on the output just as you want. So when you click record, you know, start your song, do it, you get done, and you stop recording. And then it'll save into your wherever destination you set it as. So that's the easiest way we found to add lower thirds to pre-recorded videos. That way you're not having to add these in individually in Premiere or Final Cut or going through OBS and using Siphon and all those kinds of things. Now this won't work if you're running a service live, but for most of us that are using pre-recorded and running them as premieres on YouTube and Facebook or whatever ad- way you, that you're choosing to have church online, hopefully this helps you out. Thanks, guys.